Discover the world's most incredible horse breeds you've never seen before. Horses are beloved creatures, admired for their beauty and strength. Yet there are some horse breeds that are even more extraordinary and breathtaking than you could ever imagine. In this video, we'll introduce you to some of the most stunning and lesser known horse breeds in the world. Get ready to be amazed. Number eight, the Clydesdale breed. During the First World War, many breeds of horses were being used by troops in horrific conditions in the trenches and battlefields across the Western Front. More than eight million horses, ponies and mules actually died during World War I. The Clydesdale heavy horse breed, which was used to haul huge artillery guns, suffered the most dreadful casualties on battlefields. More of these magnificent beasts of burden would lose their lives than any other horse breed in the conflict. This extraordinary breed of horse began to dramatically decline in numbers during the middle of the 20th century because it was no longer required for the sort of work that the heavy horse had been bred for in the past. The dwindling numbers of Clydesdales would result in the horse being considered vulnerable in the present day. They're now categorized as being at risk. Number seven, the Shire horse breed. These are horses that look like they're wearing fluffy leg warmers. Beautiful Shire horses originate from Britain where they've been part of country life going back to medieval times. It's believed that the Shire horse may be descended from the legendary great horse of British history. Famous for being used in big battles of the past warrior skills as well as superior strength. Before the technological transformation of farming in the UK, Shire horses really did pull their weight and a whole lot else. They were used mostly for heavy pulling work, like plowing and logging, delivering goods as well as lugging great weights of coal and wagons across the country. They're perhaps most famous for being the horse of choice to pull carts loaded with huge barrels of ale from the brewery to the pubs, and there are many depictions of the Shire horse doing just that in paintings in the 19th century. Well. That's a useful horse. Number six, the Belgian horse breed. If you need a really big horse, then the Belgian is the best you can get. These mighty creatures originated from the small European country of Belgium, but were developed into the modern breed in the USA. Belgian horse is the most popular breed of draft horse, which is another way of saying workhorse. They're strong and docile, and that makes them such good workers. Now, if you've ever taken a horse-drawn ride down Disney's Main Street, USA, then likely that carriage was pulled by a Belgian horse. These hefty workers are also used to pull plows heavy logging work, and as well as sleighs and carriages, Belgian horses are also world record holders. The Belgian going by the name of Big Jake holds the current record as being the tallest horse in the world. He's a long-legged 20 hands high and two and three-quarter inches, Horses are measured by a system of hands with one hand being equal to four inches. So, doing the math. Let's see the numbers and carry the one. Big Jake's over two meters tall. The title of most expensive draft horse that ever was purchased is still held by a Belgian breed named Mickey Rath's Captain Jim selling for $112,500 in 2003. A stable investment, perhaps. Before we go on, like this video, Smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. In this stunning footage, you can see the Appaloosa breed in action. Truly, one of the most incredible horse breeds to exist. They're most famous for their distinctively patterned coat which gives them a spotted pattern similar to that of Leopard. This is rare among horses and has been dubbed the Leopard Complex. Other core characteristics of the Appaloosa breed include a visible white sclera, striped, hooves, and mottled skin. Some of these characteristics can be seen in other breeds, but the combination of them all is a rarity exclusive to the Appaloosa. It makes them truly stunning animals. Comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number five the Percheron horse breed. Originating in the French former province of Le Perche in northern France, it is believed that the modern-day Percheron horse is descended from breeds that were used as battle horses that carried knights of war in the 17th century. This region would become the place to go to for the strongest horses and the breeds of Le Perche became famous for their extraordinary power and desirability.
It was in the century that followed that the Percheron as it's known today would be developed. All of the Percheron in existence today can be traced back to a horse named Jean Lublin from the 19th century. This creates a sort of horsey aristocracy. The horses that developed after this were particularly prized by the French army. Later in the 19th century, the Percheron would then be taken to the United States, a dreadful and dangerous journey for anyone. Horses didn't end up faring too well. The first attempt to transport a total of eight horses would be a disaster resulting in only two surviving the voyage. They were luckily enough, a male and a female, and I guess they must have fallen in love because they had some babies which then created the first of the American Percheron on record. Later on, they figured out how to keep horses alive on the journey to America and then began to import the breed in the thousands. The powerful Percheron became the horse of choice for farmers and transportation well into the 20th century. That was until Skynet took. I mean, technology took over and the Percheron would no longer be main attraction. I've got so many of these. Number 4. The Suffolk Punch Breed Developed in Suffolk, Dull on the east coast of the UK, the Suffolk Punch Horse was created to be powerful enough to plow the heavy clay soil of the region. Strong and docile, these heavy horses were ideal farm workers. The smallest of all the draft horses, the Suffolk Punch are always chestnut in color having short legs and great strength. That makes an ideal combination for farming. But unlike other breeds, the Suffolk Punch was not developed by army generals or even posh landowners. They weren't created to be magnificent warriors and they weren't fancy hunting horses. Real land workers and farmers cared for and grew these beautiful beasts to support them in the fields. Nowadays, the breed is more likely to be seen at a county fair and amongst devoted breeders who still keep these gentle giants to show and for historic reenactments as well. They're even on the UK's rare breeds list under the at-risk category. Less famous than other draft horses, the Suffolk Punch has become an open secret amongst draft horse breeders in the United States and they're punching above their weight in the show pony world. Number 3. The Norwegian Fjord Breed The Viking Warrior's Horse of Choice This ancient breed is not only striking looking, it's also one of the oldest breeds of horses in the world. Thought to date back over 4,000 years, the dun-colored creature is easily recognizable with its bold man and tail. Darker in color than its coat and often with dark streaks. It's a pretty cool-looking horse, for a Viking and probably many other horse-riding colonials throughout time. The confinus of your horse is really important. Spending huge lengths of time in the saddle, the Vikings literally traveled the globe on horseback. It's really difficult to enthusiastically plunder and pillage your way around the world if you have a sore bottom you know. Oddly enough, one of the characteristics of the Norwegian Fjord horse is that they are in fact more comfortable than other breeds. Now, I'm not talking like recliner levels of comfort. I mean, it is a horse after all. Marginal gains in the rear end department may have given the Vikings an edge in their invasions. However, the legacy of this choice of horse remains. The Norwegian Fjord breed can be found around the world to this day and is still a great choice for horseback riding. So giddy up. And before we get to number one, what do you think is going to be the top horse on the list? Write it down in the comments below and then come back and let me know if you were correct. Number two, the Dole Gudbrands Dahl breed. Horses have always been very important in Norway's history and culture but with the difficult terrain and lots of snow, the horse has been a vital part of literal survival in the harsh landscape. Originating in Norway's good Bronsdale Valley. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Dole horses have been around in one form or another since as far back as 800 BC. The Dole is not only a great all-around horse, but one of the things that makes this breed so incredible is that it has especially large lungs, which is weird, right? But it is these big old breathing kits that make this breed so good at the sort of farm laboring that they're known for. During the Second World War, Norway was invaded and occupied by Nazis. The Dole Gud Brands Dole horse was used widely during the initial battle for Norway. So, these horses are kind of like Nazi fighting resistance heroes. Let's learn a teeny bit about languages because it's relevant. I promise. So, modern day Norwegian, 
The word for horse is Hest Dalhest, is the Norwegian name for this breed. In Old Norse, there were two words for horse. There was Hester, meaning stallion and rose, which meant mare. In fact, that's where the English word horse comes from. I can actually feel my brain growing. How about you so much horse knowledge? Number one, the Russian heavy draft breed. Now it's actually a really tricky thing to milk a horse. What? Milk a horse. As well as being a solid workhorse, the milk of the mares of this particular breed is actually popular as a nutritious beverage in the Russian Federation. The Russian heavy draft is exactly what it sounds like, a heavy draft horse developed in Russia. Well done, Sherlock. Great deduction skills developed during the 19th century. This powerful beast of burden has been used for farming transportation and also as a high-yielding milk production horse. In parts of Russia, a type of fermented dairy drink, a little like kefir is produced using mares or donkey's milk. It's slightly weird sounding to our soda-addled minds, but hang on a minute. It does kind of make sense. In the wilder parts of the vast Russian landscape food can be scarce and it was extremely difficult to find before the industrial period. So traditional foods including things that happened to be available in remote areas like horses and donkeys were used for all kinds of daily work and transport and their milk was also available. So people used it to make kumis considered medicinal kumis is said to be an effective tonic for all that ails you including tuberculosis, anemia, and even impotence. Not really sure how scientific that research is. And even today, this drink is still an important food source for people in the remote Central Asian steppes, Mongolian people, and many others who live in the extreme Russian territories. A Russian heavy draft is a worker, a vehicle, and a beverage vending machine. Well, there you go. Thanks for your unbridled enthusiasm along the way. Did you enjoy the globetrotting tour with some of these horses of the world? I'm sure you probably learned something, didn't you? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Make sure you check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen. And I'll see you next time.